You know it's gonna be a good season when you immediately start with a message at the beginning of your video. Lana shouldn't even be born yet. Random purple guy we never see again is Ace confirmed. Also, Damien and Ace's eye color is wrong. Why does Ace just have like like potion making things in the fucking library? Don't you think someone would come and steal them? Falling into your future lover cliche. Blake could have asked anything and that's the fucking question he asked. If Aiden can't tell that Damien and Ace are an angel and a devil without his glasses, then how the fuck is he walking without his glasses? There's supposed to be a claw machine there, but due to Gatchaclaw not having one and me being too lazy to edit one in, it just looks like Damien is just touching a wall and then getting a bear. Taking off four cents because Fu is the best character in the series. How did Damien get glasses for Aiden when he doesn't even know his eye prescription? Amy, only Ace and Damien are your kids. What the fuck are you talking about? You guys literally met two episodes ago. When you start a friendship, you don't immediately just say, Oh, why have an abusive mother? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, very normal reaction. When your crush has a boyfriend, you immediately just pull out a knife in the hallway and think about killing him. Blake, chill my guy. You two became boyfriends literally like an episode ago. Believing an edited photo of your boyfriend cheating cliche. Jake literally asks if Aiden's okay, then immediately teleports away before he even gets an answer. Not if he's blind like Zero was. Zero, I feel like this is something that you guys should have had discussed when he was pregnant. You think it's gonna be kind of awkward to tell him now, like nine months later, when the baby is born? Miles is Aiden, confirmed. Same thing with the Damien situation. Blake, how the fuck do you know Ace's eye prescription? Wow, it's only been a few weeks since the death of your son and you already want to start fucking Aiden, you horny piece of shit. <laughs> so, where exactly does Shadow find this book and know about this? Alright, I'm sorry, but if my daughter, who was born mute, walked into my living room one day and started talking, bitch, I would go upstairs pack my bags, walk out that house, and immediately move to Mars away from her because I would be freaked the fuck out. His name is supposed to be Adam. Ah uh, yes, the panda and snake pets that you never see ever again after this episode. Kyle simping for blondes. You know, if you just did your makeout session at your own house, then you wouldn't have to worry about being watched. Also, wait a minute, why the fuck are they even kissing at the castle anyways? Kyle has his own house. What the fuck is with these babies and knowing where the fuck their missing parents are? Again, double weddings. You guys literally got married one scene ago. How the fuck did you guys get divorced that fast? Ah yes, the imaginary paperwork that you never heard of before and you'll never hear again after this episode. So Jake had food poisoning and instead of Carter being like, oh, you should just like rest because you know, you have food poisoning. No, fuck that. L let's go and fuck and make you get pregnant. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Ah, uh, yes, he says that, but then I put in a Q&A video that he's afraid of heights. So, that makes sense. Ladies and gentlemen, father of the year. Please get hit by that car. Please get hit by that car. Please get hit by that car. Oh, fuck you. 
ah yes, conveniently Festivia is here in the castle. Even though she doesn't live in the castle, what the fuck is she even doing here? The scythe casually just changes colors right before your very eyes. So, Blake teleports to the babies in this scene, and the scene cuts, but you would think, like, the next scene would be Blake in the castle with the babies, because wouldn't he, like, immediately be like, okay, let me get all these babies back to the castle, and he just teleport them all, but no, of course not, because you'll see in a later scene that he doesn't even fucking do that, because he's an idiot. Yeah, well, Amy wouldn't have to teleport them away if you just fucking teleported them back to the castle, you dumb piece of shit. Ew, this would have been a lot better if one of them died. <gasps> oh my god, yes! Somebody dies in this episode! Honestly, the best part of the episode. So, you know what's really funny about this scene is that all the characters' clothes are changed from what they were wearing last episode, which means fucking they all went home and changed, went into the living room, and then they were like, and then Blake decided to just drop the news that Julia was dead. Like, oh, hey guys, by the way, Julia died. Like a loser. <laughs> Wow, excellent work, Damien. Make sure you shoot that evil fairy. But for the love of God, don't shoot your homophobic, abusive mother who killed your son and hurted you guys and kidnapped your kids again. Yeah, don't don't shoot her. I mean, it's not like she's going to come back as, an, as a fusion between Alexia and herself or anything like that. Totally not.